The item I'm unboxing and showing you today is a fountain pen. This is from Visconti in Italy, and it's based on their Van Gogh series. Uh, they've taken several of Vincent Van Gogh's paintings, and they've taken the color of his artwork, and they've been inspired to utilize that those basic colors in the resin of, of the pens. So each pen, of course, is unique, but in this particular pen, we should see a predominance of blue, although a lighter shade, and a little bit of orange, maybe 80, 20. Um, but uh, this, this particular pen is Van Gogh's self-portrait from 1889, a few months before his untimely death in 1890. And if you're wondering what the pen looks like, well, there it is. Okay, there's Vincent Van Gogh self-portrait in blue from 1889. And we see a predominance of blue, a little light, lighter shade. And we see uh, red and orange in, in, in his beard and his hair. Um, so it really is predominantly blue. And he did about uh, 36 self-portraits uh, in the last 10 years of his life. And this was the last self-portrait before he died in 1890. Uh, the last painting he did was Tree Roots, called Tree Roots. Um, anyways, I got this pen from Pen World in uh, Belgium and the EU, and they delivered it to my door in two or three business days, uh, remarkably fast, via DHL, and they offered about a 20% discount over uh, what other retailers were selling it for. Uh, anyways, um, I'm going to open the box and we'll see what I got because every resin pen is a bit unique. What you see on the website in a picture might not be exactly what you get, of course, with resins. So I'm anxious to see what I have here and compare it to the actual painting and see how they how Visconti has incorporated the colors uh, into it. So I'll begin. Okay. What's nice about pen worlds is they don't put a ton of tape on a single box. For a lightweight item like a pen. So I pre. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Nope, I'm not there yet. Okay. 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 There's a note in there. And then we have a bunch of peanuts. I hate these things. But uh, that's what I've got in there. Okay, I'm going to pull the box out. I'd rather pe people use uh, paper, you know, than uh, these things. They always get all over the place. And this is how they ship it in a uh, gift wrap box, which is pretty nice. So this is just the regular version of, of the Scante pen. Uh, it doesn't include the ink, which is the deluxe version. So it's a little bit less money. And you can always find a great ink without using the ink provided. And I'm going to open this now. Right. Try to save as much stuff as I can, put it back into the box. Just, just for the uh, record of what came with it. They have a seal here. I'm going through that. Let's see if it opens up now. Okay. No, nope, there's one more piece of tape here. There we go. Okay, so here is self-portrait in blue. And uh, I'm curious to see what resin exactly is on here because everyone's a little different. So I'm going to cover it up. I don't want to spoil it. 
and we have a booklet on the inside, or this is actually, no, it's just a uh, uh, bookmark uh, from Visconti. And here, yes, there you go. Here is the booklet tucked in that envelope on the top part of the box. And we have, uh, oh, it shows the different types of pens that they have created from the inspiration of Van Gogh's paintings. And um, this pen should be like a turquoise primarily uh, with some reds, perhaps browns, uh, and of course blue. And that's what I should have on my pen. But the booklet just talks about the colors Van Gogh created and technical details, which I'm not going to get into. And uh, oh, and the ink collection. I'm sure you can buy these separately from uh, Miss Conte's website. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, the big reveal. What exactly does this resin pen look like? Um, each one is unique, and I hope I have primarily light blue or turquoise with a little bit of red and so forth mixed in there. So, oh, here we go. There it is. I see a lot of brown in there. A little bit more brown or red, reddish brown, I should say, than I expected. But that's okay. It's a beautiful pen. It has a little Visconti finial on top of the cap. A standard clip here, spring-loaded, which you have to be careful if you put it in your pocket because it's not that secure. You know, it, it could come out and you could lose the pen. So you want to be careful with this pen as far as carrying it around. I wouldn't carry it on me, uh, personally. Uh, it, the um, cap attaches to the barrel with a magnet. There it is. Okay. And the infamous um, Visconti nib, which I hope I got a good one. Uh, and uh, we unscrew it. should be a converter in here. I'm pretty sure that's, yep. Okay, I got your basic international converter, which is okay. So, I screw that back in there. I'm not going to ink it up uh, and do a writing sample right now because I don't do very good writing samples. I'm not a professional pen reviewer by any means. Uh, so, I just wanted to open it up and show you what I got here. And there are dozens, if not more, of channels on YouTube where they have, you know, excellent writing samples and far better than, than my stupid printing. Um, but I think it's a beautiful pen. Uh, I'm glad I, I have it. And um, so that's it. Uh, these finials, by the way, are interchangeable. You can get a semi-precious stone and take a pretty strong magnet and take take the finial off and replace it with uh, stone or your initials, you know, your initials. Um, so it's, it's 18 faucetted, which provides a decent texture to the pen. And um, it's, it's got a steel uh, component here, but some people have claimed that it's slippery, but, um, I, I I don't think it's a problem with me on on uh, steel steel. Um, anyways, that's the pen, and I hope you've enjoyed this, and I've enjoyed showing it to you. And uh, thanks so much for watching.